mau. <laughs> Are you done? So I just got off work, hence my work attire, glasses and all. I just decided to stop by Walgreens, which I never shop at Walgreens. I don't know why I've been sleeping on Walgreens. I'm just gonna lay that out there right now. On my side of town, I have CVS and Rite Aid and I've been going there wondering why I'm not finding all these new products that brands are releasing and I cannot find them in the store anywhere. I've been wondering until tonight. I stopped at Walgreens and I stopped in for like to find one or two new items and then this happened. This bag is totally full. So I thought, why not um, do a quick haul? And that way, if you guys are interested in getting any of the new stuff that these brands have come out with, um, you know where to find it. And I actually found really, really good deals. Like, I don't know if it's like that all the time, but I'm into it. Here is my receipt. And it's just across town. Like, why haven't I not gone there? Oh, I've been saving so much money. I'm just going to start digging in. Um, so I went, oh my god. Why didn't I use this? It has a dollar off. Okay, so I went and I gra I found a couple things that I loved. And I was like, oh, I already can't hold these in my hand. So I grabbed a basket and then... Throughout the hour, I just kept throwing in, throwing in, thinking I'll go through it before I check out. I won't get all this stuff. It's so much stuff. Then I got to the cash register and I was like, um, these people can go next. <laughs> like, I'm just sorting this out. I don't think I'm going to get it all. I put two items back. Two. So anyways, with that said, I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly, but I just wanted to show you guys I'm so excited. So these are the Yes. What's the brand? Yes to. I got the Brighten and Condition. So it is going to be moisturizing and it has argan oil in it as well. Um, so I'm really excited to try these out. I've never used this brand before, but I need new face wipes and they were staring at me. So they just kind of hopped in my basket, you know, like this. Next, I'm going to give away my new favorite lash brand. And I actually found these at Rite-In. I thought they were Rite-In exclusive, but apparently not. In fact, at Rite-Aid, I think they're right around $5. And I found these at Walgreens marked down to $4.49, marked down again to $2.50 or something. $2.79. Ah! So they're all like stacked up on this little like spot and I don't know if they're trying to get rid of these specific styles or not but when I saw that I'm doing weddings now I need to stock up I have one tomorrow morning I kind of just held the basket up to the counter and went <laughs> so I got like I don't even know how many oh I guess I should tell you the brand they are the kiss brand eyelashes see look $4.99 marked down to $2.99 Yay! Um, these are really, really, really pretty and fluttery and they look very natural. They're not mink, I don't think. However, they look like they're mink. They look like real natural lashes and they're gorgeous. So um, I got these styles, Lily, Camellias, and I think there's one other style, Tulip. This is Camellias, Camellas, and they're like fluffy. I don't know if you can tell from the side. But they're fluffy, they have two layers, and some go down like this, and then some go up like that. So they're like, I don't know, they're very fluffy looking. This is Lily, and the last one was Tulip, and these are very natural looking. They're a little bit shorter, but they are pretty. So I got one, two, seven. For $2.49? Are you kidding me? Then, while we're on the subject of lashes, I didn't also know Walgreens carries the vlogger series eyelashes um, by Allure. So if you don't know, Allure is a um, eyelash brand that I actually also love. And Allure collabed with some of the beauty bloggers. And Nicole Guerrero is one of my favorite beauty bloggers. They created these lashes. They're called 143 and I wanted to get my hands on them. I don't know if they're going to be cute or not, but I didn't care because she made them. So I need to try them out, right? The price point... Um, it, it wasn't too bad for Ilure. I think it's pretty normal poise, poise point. 
price point, but um, I think these were like $7.99. I also picked some Ardell's up because I can never ha have too many for my kit, but also I noticed that Walgreens, if they're having like, I think it said like last chance or something, if they're trying to get their product out because they have a new shipment coming in, I guess they make their stuff like 50% off. So these were 50% off, so I had to get them naturally, you know? L'Oreal also had these were on sale, buy one, get one 50% off. I'm assuming because they're getting a new shipment in. I'm not really sure, but so I got one for seven and then one for, I guess, $3.50. You cannot go wrong. My favorite mascara ever. Okay, another thing that's not new, but I got a killer discount is these um, L'Oreal Infallible Shadows. I have the, oh, I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's like a really gorgeous gorgeous like champagne -y color and i'm obsessed the pigmentation is crazy when it applies to your eyelids it's gorgeous well these l'oreal infallible eyeshadows are normally pretty expensive and i'm pretty sure i got these for like 250. i tried to snapchat it but then my phone died and um anyways i like if you are near walgreens go try to check these out or keep out an eye for the sales because they are killer i couldn't believe it i have been sleeping on Walgreens. So I got um, a purple, it's called Smolderling Plum and Sultry Smoke. And then I got this um, 24 hour color tattoo by Maybelline. And these are amazing too, and this was on sale as well. Stocked up on the um, L'Oreal Infallible Foundation because I'm obsessed with this stuff. And again, this was a really good price point, so I had to. I think this one, this one was buy one get one free because I also got this one. Um, which is the infallible pro glow and I have yet to try the pro glow So I'm really excited to try that but I got them my shade is um, 104 and I'm Obsessed with this one if you're looking for a drugstore foundation This is one of my favorite very matte, but this one's gonna give you sort of a glow So I'm excited to try this one. I've heard good things then I just stocked up also on my um, wet n wild mega liner It's my favorite black liquid liner Let's get to the fun stuff. This is all new stuff. Um, Kiss also has a lash adhesive, lash glue, and um, it says it's made with um, aloe, and it's dermatologist tested in formaldehyde. Do we ever say anything right on my channel? No. I don't know what this word is, but it's free of it. I liked it because it is um, a black adhesive, so you're not going to have that clear and white cast on your lashes. The only thing you have to be careful of when you're using this is that you don't get it all over your eyelid because if you've already done your eyeshadow, it will leave a black mark there. So These are new from L'Oreal. They came out with like brow pots. They look very similar. I'm going to open this one. This one is uh, Burnett. Deep Burnett. These look very, very similar to the Anastasia one, so I want to see if the the formula, I want to see if the formula is the same. So you see the little pot is very similar to Anastasia's. It seems nice. I made a little swatch right here. The brush that it comes with, it comes with a little brush as well with the um, eyebrow brush on one side and then a little spoolie on the other, which is nice. Um, so I'm gonna say that this could be a dupe for Anastasia. I'm not sure I have to use it on my brows first my hand It feels pretty good. They had a pretty good um, Color range too. I got the like I said the deep brown They also had I can't remember what the middle one was But there was like a super dark brown a lighter brown an even lighter brown and a blonde So I got the deep brown um, a light brunette and blonde and moving on, um, Maybelline came out with the concealer and corrector. It says it targets dark circles, spots, and imperfections. And I picked up mine in the color light. Rip this bad boy out. Feels nice. I saw a review on this. I don't know if you can even see it. It's right here. I did. I saw a review on this and they loved it. So I'm really excited to try this. Next, I pulled out this L'Oreal um, Blend Artist for the Infallible line. And this is supposed to be very, very comparable to the Beauty Blender. Ooh, it's not very firm, it's very squishy. Um, but I'm excited to run this underwater, see how big it gets, and I really like the shape. 
It kind of has a big end and then it has like a nice little middle part for a place to grip and then this part goes into a nice point, kind of like the Beauty Blender. So I'm really excited to give this a try. If so, I will let you guys know because the price point, I think this was $7.99 and the Beauty Blender is $20. So if this works, um, I'm all for it. And then Wet n Wild stole the show tonight. So I um, I know that these are all pretty new. I'm pretty sure that these are new. These are all by Wet n Wild. They came out with new liquid lipsticks. And naturally, I got a bunch. The price point is amazing. Wet n Wild has really stepped it up throughout the last, I would say, like year or two. They've come out with some fire products has a really nice doe foot on it. Um, it kind of has like an indent to kind of go around your lips, which is nice. And they feel really good, really good. Right here is the nude that I just swatched. That color is called Nudie Patootie. So I also got Nudist Peach, Nudie Patootie, Rebel Rose, and Pink Really Hard. And this is the Megalast Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick. So um, these are liquid lipsticks, and again, they are by Wet n Wild. Next, I wanted to pick up by Wet n Wild is the Mega Cushion Contour. I think they only have one color. Um, it's 105A, and it's Cafe Usle. I don't know how to say that, um, but it says it's a featherweight finish, ultra blendable, and super convenient. So I assume it's. Let me try to open this. So I can't open it right now, but it comes in a little container that looks like this. It's just like a little cushion, kind of like, I think it's a L'Oreal cushion. And what brand has that foundation? But anyways, it's a cushion. So you just pop this up and it's a really pretty um, contour color. So if you want like a cream contour, um, it says that it's blendable. And the color that I saw somebody, um, I think it was Casey Holmes, um, when I saw her review it, it looked really pretty, good for contour. So. I'm really excited to try this, and I think this was also $4.99. Next up from Wet n Wild, I got the Color Icon Ombre Blush. These have actually been out for a little while, and this is in the color The Princess Daiquiris. It's a really pretty just pink ombre. It goes like kind of a peachy pink to a um, really pretty natural pink. This is what I originally went for two $4.99 foundations, and I ended up getting all of that. That's what happens. But Wet n Wild came out with a photo focus foundation and this is what I really went to pick up because I saw reviews and every review I've seen has been amazing. Um, so I'm so excited to try this. I might make a video just trying this and seeing how it wears throughout the day. I got two colors. I got Nude Ivory and Buff Bisque. I think this is going to be more of my color, obviously, but if it works, I wanted to add one to my kit. This is a really, really white ivory color, so that's always good to have because it's hard to come by a really, really light foundation. So if this is good, I'm going to let you guys know for sure. So yeah, um, I will be putting out a video testing these. So if you'd like more information on that, you'll have to wait for the video. And then really quick, we're almost done. I also picked on the rev, picked up. Wait, I didn't know I got this. I got both, whatever. Um, I got the Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow and this is just in a really pretty like champagne-y color. And then last but not least, I finally found a really pretty Jordana stand and um, apparently all the Jordana products are in Walgreens as well. So I picked up these, uh, three sweet cream matte liquid lip colors. Um, I tested one while I was there and the formula was really pretty. So I got all pink. Let me scoot up and show you. Ooh, my glasses. These are all really pretty colors and they all look almost the same, which is annoying. So I got the color Creme Brulee, uh, Rose Macaroon, and Strawberry Sunday. And the color payoff was great. When I swatched it, it took me one stroke and I got this um, color payoff. So really opaque, really pretty, and these colors are um, gonna be great in my kit because every bride is always looking for a really pretty soft pink color so I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini impropt haul look at me I'm like looking at you like oh I don't know if you like these kinds of hauls I do um, I like sharing what's new and what I've gotten with you guys just just in case you're interested I watch them so I figured other people like to watch them and that's what makes me spend so much money 
So sorry if it happens to you. Don't blame it on me. That's it for now. I'm going to go feed my doggy and get ready for the night. And I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, wait. Um, so I am looking for requests. So you let me know in the comments below. But anyways, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Right? Bye, guys.